and welcome to another video in Foundation February. Today I am doing a first impressions, wear test, and review on the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. I am so excited to try this. I saw that it came out and I've had a really good experience with, with the Age Perfect line from L'Oreal. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, I need to... I need to give this a try. So I'm gonna be using it on my face for the first time today and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna do a midday check-in and then hopefully keep the foundation on for a total of eight hours at least. And yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you guys for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. So before we get started, I again have a normal skin type. I'm more normal dry in the winter and then a normal combination in the summertime. I picked up the shade 20 Fair, which bothered me because I was like, that's gonna be way too pale for me, but there was no other shades that were available at Shoppers Drug Mart that would work for me. So I had to go with this one. And then when I opened it, I'm like, maybe this will work because this looks very orangey warm and pretty dark for a shade that's called pale. So I'm hoping this is going to be okay. So some of the claims of this product say that it makes the skin look firmer, it smooths lines, and it conceals imperfections and evens tone. So lots of good stuff. I feel like it's not gonna have a lot of coverage. I wanna just apply it with my fingers, I guess. Oh, it's like, I thought it was gonna be way harder. It feels like the Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. It feels actually kind of nice. I feel like you could use a brush with this. I don't have a primer on my skin because I started my first wear test and first impressions video without a primer. I didn't want to use a primer for the other foundations I was testing. So we are going to use no primer for all these videos. I think I'm just gonna blend everything out with my fingers. It feels nice. It doesn't have a scent. Well, it has a slight scent to it, but nothing too intense. I do have a pretty good experience, or I have had a pretty good experience with the Age Perfect line from L'Oreal, and L'Oreal foundations in general. I've really enjoyed them. I just tried the Hyaluronic Tinted Serum, which I really liked, so we'll see how this one compares to it. Yeah, the shade was totally fine. Like, it just, like, blend it into my skin. It has like such little coverage. I don't think the shade is going to have much impact. It feels really nice on the skin. Like it feels very lightweight, but it feels super moisturizing as well. Like it feels like I'm just rubbing moisturizer all over my skin right now. I don't know if it's made my skin look firmer or if it's smoothed any lines out, but coverage wise, not horrible. I'd say it's very, very like very light coverage, like sheer, basically. It honestly didn't cover too much on my skin, but my skin looks pretty refreshed right now and glowy. I'm really enjoying the way it looks. Yeah, it feels good. It feels a little bit sticky, but like I said, it did have that moisturizing feel to it, so I'm not surprised by that. I really like this. This looks so good. It just looks like my skin, but slightly better. So I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup. It is 12.46 right now, so we're gonna call the check-in time 12.45. Um, I will jump back in once I have my makeup on to give you guys the final look, but first impressions, I'm really enjoying this so far, so we'll see how it looks with the rest of my makeup on. Okay, I am back and it is 12.59 now, so basically one o'clock. The products that I used were the XX Revolution Concealer in the shade CX 5.7. I set my face, mostly the areas where I applied the concealer, but I set it with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in Warm Light. I didn't really set anywhere else, so it's kind of still a little bit sticky on my skin. I just felt like I didn't want to, I don't know, I wanted to see how the product performed without setting it too much with powder because it does feel like a moisturizer, so I didn't want to like set a moisturizer, I guess. Bronzer, I used the Rimmel Insta Contour Stick. I used my ColourPop Between the Sheets Blush, Super Shock Blush, and then I spritzed my face with the NYX Bear With Me Setting Spray that I've been using consistently throughout Foundation February. Lips are the NYX Shine Loud Lipstick in the shade Trophy Wife. So that's what the foundation looks like right now. Um, I honestly think it looks pretty good. It makes my face look very dewy 
very glowy and healthy, but not uncomfortable, like not sticky or greasy feeling on my skin. I think it might not be the best if you have oilier skin. I'm even kind of nervous because I do get a little bit of shine in like my T-zone area, so I'm a little bit nervous with how that'll play off, but it looks great with the rest of my makeup on top. Um, I do like that it's such light coverage. It honestly looks like I'm not wearing any coverage on my skin, which I kind of prefer because I haven't been really loving a lot of high coverage foundations over the last two years. So I am pretty happy with the way everything looks on the skin right now. So I'm gonna go on with the rest of my day. I have to go back to work now, and then I have to go to an appointment after work. So I'll probably do the check-in around 5.15ish by the time I get back. It'll be hopefully a natural lighting, but again, it's a miserable, miserable day out. So it might be not the best lighting at the check-in, but I'll show you guys what it looks like at that point. And then I will jump back in at the end of the night to give you guys the final check-in and my final thoughts on the product, but I'm really impressed right now. I kind of, I knew I went in with a bias because I do like L'Oreal, but I'm gonna judge it on how it performs. So I'm excited to see if this one lasts because if it does look good by the end of the night, I'm totally gonna be wearing this one more often. Like I feel so comfortable in it right now and I just, I really love the natural look that it's that it has on my skin. So I guess I will see you guys at 5 p.m. Hey you guys, it is 5.10 in the afternoon now. You can really tell how bad you look when you're under fluorescent lights. Sorry, I am so shaky holding this camera right now. But this is what the foundation looks like after about four hours. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I did just get back from an appointment. So I was outside, I was wearing my mask for a bit there and it was raining outside. So the foundation looks pretty decent, my hair not so much, but the foundation looks pretty decent. I think it's held up really nicely, not greasy feeling, not shiny yet, or at least not too shiny yet. I don't really have any complaints with it. It hasn't really broken apart anywhere on my skin. It honestly feels like it did at the beginning of the wear test, so no changes there. I think maybe I'm just looking a bit haggard right now because I just walked in, but the actual foundation looks good. I will say it's rubbed away on my nose because I was blowing my nose for a bit there. I didn't see any residue uh, or foundation left on my mask, which is good. So I don't think it really transferred onto there. But yeah, this is what it looks like at the four hour mark. I guess we'll have to wait and see how things look after eight. So I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is now 8.55 in the evening. So this foundation has been on for about eight hours and this is what it's looking like. It is definitely looking greasier on my skin. I wouldn't say it feels oily or anything, but it does look a little bit shiny on my skin. My face is looking, uh, maybe not greasy, but definitely shiny. I actually think it looks pretty good. It is like a bomb product, so I wasn't really expecting the staying power to be great. And this is about kind of what I expected it to look like. It's definitely more greasy than some other foundations that I tried this week or that I own in my collection. Like it's probably not gonna work if you have oilier skin, but I think if you have normal, or definitely if you have dry skin, but also if you have normal, I think you could probably get away with this one. I will say my face feels really nice. Like it feels very hydrated and it didn't feel dry throughout the day and I've been struggling a lot recently with dry skin. So I feel like this product actually sat really well on my skin throughout the day. I just think it's maybe a little bit too shiny for my taste. I don't know, actually, I don't know. I kind of don't mind the shine that much because my skin has been so dry lately that it's kind of nice to see it looking a little bit dewier than normal. But I think if I had a super long day, this wouldn't be my first choice in a base product. But it hasn't worn away anywhere except around my nose and my mouth area because I was eating and then I also blew my nose a bit. I did wear a mask today for about an hour and it didn't really come off at all around like where the mask would have covered really just around my nose because that's where i blew it my forehead's definitely looking shiny but the foundation hasn't broken down anywhere so it is shiny but it hasn't started looking heavy like the maybelline forward one perfector that i just wore i felt like that sat really heavy on top of my skin whereas this one is kind of blended into my skin i will say 
with the shade, you definitely need to go down a couple shades in this foundation. Like I showed you, the shade I picked up was 20 Fair, and it was pretty warm, and it wasn't really a fair shade at all. At first, when I tried it, I thought it was like a good match. It didn't, um, it kind of worked with my skin. And even now, it like still looks okay, but when I was looking at my face in natural light, I felt like my face looked very warm, which tends to happen with L'Oreal products and it just sucks because usually I love the formulas and I wear them anyway, but they do tend to oxidize a bit and they get quite like orangey on your skin. So just be aware of that shade. Go a few shades lighter than you're used to. But other than that, that's really my only complaint and the shine being a little bit too much. Maybe if I used like a better mattifying powder. I still do like the foundation though, so I'm not complaining about that. I'm definitely gonna be wearing it, especially on days when I have like a no makeup makeup look. I'm totally gonna wear this. I actually think it's a really good quality product for the drugstore and it's something that I have not seen at the drugstore yet so i'm very excited about it and again i think if you just have a drier skin or you're only going to be wearing this product for a shorter amount of time like i'd say max eight hours i think this is going to be a really nice product and like i said it feels good on my skin that wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if i missed anything leave it down in the comments below if you have questions or anything like that otherwise thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and i'll see you in my next one <music>